We heard about Olive Crest through uh, my employment. I was a preschool teacher. We had decided that Olive Crest was the agency that we wanted to go with, and we moved forward, and we had only been certified for about six days before we got the call for Katie. The details around Katie's birth were very interesting. She was born three months early. Uh, we were told that she was a 24 to 25 weeker and that she had been in the NICU uh, for three months um, before we were matched with her. We were told by the doctors and the nurses in the NICU that um, therapists had to do skin-to-skin -skin touching with her and that she would scream and recoil from the touch. She had bilateral brain hemorrhages, so she had a brain hemorrhage on the right side of her brain and the left side of her brain. We were told she had a hole in her heart, blood in her lungs, vision issues that her retinas hadn't fully developed, and that she almost didn't live a couple of times. There were no guarantees about how she would grow and develop, but that the guarantee was that she would be uh, developmentally delayed for a time and that it would remain to be seen um, how she would thrive and what that would look like. We were getting ready to parent a child that wasn't that wasn't going to develop like a typical child. In that moment, you just take a deep breath and you quiet your voice and you realize that that life isn't just about you, it's about serving something greater than yourself. When we brought Kitty home for the first time, it was somewhat overwhelming having so many specialists and appointments. And we realized from the start that she was a fighter and slowly she would improve. We had a scare with her vision where we realized that she couldn't see. She was responding to our voice and could hear, but wouldn't be able to track. So that's when we had called and made appointments um, with a couple of different doctors. And it wasn't a week later, she all of a sudden reached out and grabbed something. and blew us away, we kind of fell on the floor because the doctors had said, you know, she's got a few vision problems. We don't know if she's gonna be able to see beyond light and shadow. And that's what's great about her is every time she has a challenge, she proves everyone wrong. In, a, in an odd sense, I don't think Katie would have it any other way. I think <laughs> she's such a fighter. She looks for the next challenge. It's like she attacks life. She's trying to catch up with life, I think. She really is. She wants to do and be and see and go. And the therapists call her a problem solver. She like looks at a situation, whether it's physically in her body or whether she's looking at a book and cognitively trying to figure out how a toy works. And she just figures it out. She figures out a way to get it done. Katie being a part of our lives keeps us in a posture of curiosity, it keeps us in a posture of faith, it keeps us in a posture of loving in a way that isn't about our own personal needs. It's loving in a way that we get to dream with her about what kind of future she's going to tell us she wants and needs and we're going to get to be a part of that. And that was what all of Christ did for us, is help us achieve that.